Hey Cancer, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Cancer. What is going on with my Cancers at this very moment and time? What does Cancer need to know right now, Spirit, for Lord Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have All Hallows Eve, one. Feel free to break down the numbers as we go along. We have the Underworld, 40. Pumpkin, 30. And Graveyard, 18. So we all know the super full moon is coming up. I think it's the either the 10th or the 11th. I'm not sure. In the next day or two. But I feel like with all Hallows Eve, I feel like at 12 o'clock, as soon as like, you know, it's the, what's that called? The the witching hour. <laughs> and you know, the moon is full, the veil is thin. I feel like you're calling something into you or whatever that you, um, because I feel like during the new moon, I made sure I told everyone to do a spell of some kind. It's coming into fruition for the super full moon. You're going to see it like heavily. I feel like the night is going to be super bright. It's going to be nighttime, but it feels almost damn near like daylight around a certain hour. Of course, it's going to obviously be night, but it's going to be so bright that it's like, damn. Yeah, with Graveyard 18, because I feel like in this picture, I'm getting that there. This is nighttime, but it looks like broad daylight. And I also feel like, of course, there's um, endings being brought with Graveyard. Total, 100%, like, the world card endings and bringing in new beginnings. I feel like with the pumpkin card, this is, like, fruits of your labor. But let's get into the tarot. I feel like there's great things coming for you, Cancer. Great things. But let's get into the specifics for Cancer. What is going on with my Cancers at this very moment in time? What does Cancer need to know, Spirit, or Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. All righty, we have Queen of Cups. There you are. Or you could be done with another um, water sign, but I feel like that's you. Knight of Cups, an apology, a love offer. I feel like it's an apology. Justice, yeah, Libra. So it is an apology. Someone's apologizing to you, trying to make things right with you. You deserve an apology. Oh my gosh, the world card. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I felt that. I knew it. I felt like the world card energy with Graveyard. Something is permanently done completely. Someone wants to give you a love offer and apologize to you. I feel like, okay, so if someone's not apologizing, I see a love offer being made to you. That is your karmic justice. Also, an apology is your karmic justice. Things are being set right for you, Cancer. And cycles are being permanently closed. They're done. So if anyone was doing you wrong, if your funds were low, your resources were low, all of that's being replenished and changed permanently. You will not be struggling. For the next few months, you will not be struggling in love or um, finances. Over on Jesus, Ten of Pentacles. Financially stable and abundant. So much wealth that can be passed down for a generation. This is generational wealth. And also inheritance, especially with the justice card. Basically what you deserve. Wealth, abundance, support. And not just no momentary wealth either. Clarify this for cancer. Clarify this message for cancer. Clarify this message for cancer. Thank you, sir. My nose is, hold on, my nose is itching. All right, clarifying the Queen of Cups is the Ten of Cups. Love and wealth, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Yes, you get a love offer or like I said, an apology, a family coming back together or someone offering you their love. This is, again, a karmic justice for you. And then we have the world card again. Again, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So um, when it comes to your love life, if you don't have any love, you're going to have it very soon. If there was a breakup of a family, it's coming back together. Like a families are being healed in love. A fresh love is being started. And it's not just no petty love that's momentary. It's the 10 of cups. 
And I mean, it's like permanent, done, over after that. That is the person you're going to be with for almost a damn near a lifetime when it comes to this. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. So if you wanted someone to apologize or if you wanted new love, it's coming. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Someone who's financially stable like you. Single, solid, stable, and abundant. Or if you wanted someone to take care of you, you have that. But I'm seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. You look good, you smell good, you're feeling good. It could be an earth sign as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Coming towards you. But you wanted someone who's financially stable, independent, and single. And that's what you're getting. You're getting your wish fulfillment when it comes to a person. Oh, my ear's itching now. Sheesh. Your reading is so freaking positive and happy, Cancer. Oh, my gosh. Clarifying the justice cards, the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you had a player in your life. You're getting justice for that. You were dealing with a player, um, a liar, a cheat, someone who wasn't, who wasn't loyal. So just know that they're getting their karma as well. And you're getting karmic justice by dating someone new. Yeah, the lover of Gemini, the choice. So you have a choice between two. Now, for some of you, this person could be coming back to apologize. Put it where it goes for you. But I feel like um, you're just getting justice. This person is going to come back. But you're going to have a choice between either staying with this player or going with this new person. Because I'm seeing a choice between two lovers for a lot of you. Clarifying the world card is the page of swords someone spying i also feel like you being a student at love or being a student at the um at spiritual awakenings twin flame connections all all things spiritual you're no longer um you're no longer an amateur you're no longer new to this i feel like you're intermediate now or at least you know you're you're no longer the page of swords i mean we're always going to be students but you're not new to this judgment so someone's been spying on you and judging you from the distance that's closed i feel like this knight of wands this player or some someone in the distance i can't honestly i can't tell you who it is but there was someone spying on you and judging you from afar that's permanently closed so if you had any type of gang stalker or evil eye energy being sent your way somehow some way that person's like connection to you is cut I don't know if you did a cord cutting or something like that, but whoever was spying on you, because I feel like this person was not talking to you. you. You probably had no idea. You may have had a hunch, but you had no idea who this person was because you don't see them on a regular or you just don't talk to them regularly. That connection is cut permanently. That person cannot spy on you anymore. They cannot use whatever item they had of yours anymore to get to you. So, like, if someone was buying tarot readings on you or trying to use divination to spy, their connection to you is cut off. Overall, you get the Ten of Pentacles again. For both decks, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, your inheritance when it comes to love and work, it's all coming to you now. I feel like I'm reading for cancers who had to fight for this or they just had it hard or whatever. But, like, when it comes to love, you're about to meet the one. The one who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And I see a lot of wealth in your children and your children's children and so on and so forth. Nothing but like positivity. All the things you were owed. If you were owed a house, it's being given to you. If you were supposed to inherit a business or wealth or any like wealthy items like family heirlooms or just any inheritance is being released to you. All of it. Money that you were owed from a return of any kind or from other people or a bank. Any institution or inheritance that you were owed is all coming at once. If you missed some lottery numbers yesterday or years ago, you're about to get all that too. Like money that you've missed in the past. Like large sums of money that you missed in the past, like $1,000 or more. All of that's coming back to you at once. And when it comes to love, the love of your life is coming back. Also, the person that you thought was the love of your life, like this twin flame, they're coming back when you meet the one. So you have this knight of wands with the lover. So you have this twin flame, someone that you've been through hell with. And then you have the love of your life coming towards you at the same time. So it's like two loves of your lives are coming back to you at the same time for you to choose between the two. And notice how... This person still showing up as the Knight of Wands. It's your karmic justice to finally turn this person down and choose that Knight of Cups. Your this is your literal knight in shining armor, the person that you wanted. 
the person that you dreamed of versus the person you wanted. All right, so let me get you your final message for cancer. Final message for cancer. Final message for cancer. All right, we have vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness. Yeah, whoever was hiding their feelings for you, they're not anymore. They're opening right up to you. We have tree, connection, wisdom, good roots. With that 10 of pentacles here twice, definitely creating that. And we have praying mantis, wit, manipulation, fun. So you can already tell this knight of wands, this player coming back to apologize and trying to put things right. They're manipulating you. They, they may be paying someone else to spy on you with divination or they keep constantly coming to see you so they can steal items from you so someone can do spell work on you and keep you attached to them. This is the type of person who don't want to commit to you, don't want to do right by you, but wants you to stay attached to them. So I would not take any X or twin flame back. No. Overall, energy is volcano, patience, repression, lust. So definitely your patience is paying off. The, the right one is coming. All right, I see you. Peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.